What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top left hand corner of Acid Plant Alley, playing with the red Zerg pieces, we have a player who goes by the name of TLO. And on the opposite side of the map, playing with the blue Protoss pieces, we have the opponent. His name is Light. So Light versus TLO, everyone. This is my first game ever casting of Light, and I have cast a couple of games of TLO. You guys can check those out on the YouTube channel right now. Very excited about this game. TLO is a very fun player, uh, for me at least, to watch. He's, of course, uh, a member of Team Liquid, which is a massive esports organization. A great organization, by the way, as well, but... Really excited to see what TLO has in store for us here today. It looks like he's going to be going for the uh, the standard build, which is a hatch gas pool, most likely. I would assume that's probably what he's going to do. On the opposite side, it looks like we have um, light going with a uh, with a gateway into the assimilator. So pretty uh, pretty standard on on this end as well. Light, uh, obviously, is not quite as well-known as some of your big Protoss players on the WCS Pro Circuit, but that's why I love to, to cast games from players who maybe aren't quite as well-known on the WCS Pro Circuit, because maybe you'll learn something from them, and maybe they are the next up-and-coming players on the Pro Circuit. Looks like Light is going to go ahead and get his uh, natural expansion, or natural nexus, and it looks like the hatch gas pool is exactly what TLO went for. So it looks pretty standard, guys, from both sides of the map. And I'm very interested to see um, how light is going to fare against a player of the of the likes of TLO. See if he can really hang with, with a player of this caliber. Looks like he's going to go ahead and get his cybernetics core here um, as well as a second a simulator. So... Interested to see kind of what ends up happening here for TLO if he's going to go for um, Zerglings into Banelings and then into like Hydras or what kind of composition he's going to go for here. Should be interesting. The Protoss generally from what I have at least seen um, here um, from casting some games of ZB ZVP in the past, it seems like there's a lot of Immortals as well as of course um, high Templars that a lot of the Protoss players tend to go for. Um, even some sentries has been something I've been seeing quite a bit as well. Looks like Warpgate uh, research is going to be coming in here, and it looks like the tech of choice is going to be an adept coming out of our Protoss player. Stargate is the other tech of choice that's going to be coming out. Looks like the Zergling speed upgrade is coming up here for TLO, and it looks like these Zerglings are going to see the adept uh, shading into what is going to possibly be uh, the third uh, base expansion now of TLO. So, wonder what the Light is planning on doing here. Maybe he's going to shade in here and see if he can get any scouting information here. Um, I'm assuming he's probably not going to commit here, so he does not. Looks like a couple of Zerglings try to get into the main base location. Probably just doing a little bit of some scouting information, which is what they exactly did. Phoenix is going to be coming out of the Stargate next. Uh, and it looks like on the opposite side of the map, uh, we have more and more queens are going to be coming up here for TLO. So, pretty standard, guys. Looks like uh, neither side is probably going to get super aggressive here as of yet. The robotics facility is coming up here for light as well. And it looks like right now TLO is probably just going to really try to play a macro-focused style game which I like uh, that decision quite a bit here. Zergling speed uh, upgrade is completed at this point. Spore crawlers are coming up, which is uh, probably a very good decision, something as a Zerg player you definitely want to do. Zerglings are gonna come in and just see if they can maybe uh, uh, get a little bit more of some information. Looks like this probe is trying to hide here, probably going to try to get that third base up and running here very, very shortly here. Oracle is gonna be coming out of the um, is going to be coming up here out of the Stargate. More and more probes are coming up as well as drones. Looks like uh, the Roach Warren is going to be coming up as well as an Evolution Chamber for TLO. So it looks like he's going to try to get his plus one upgrades. And looks like he's uh, moving into the Roach Warren, which I do like that decision as well. Third base is now um, going up here for light. And it looks like they're going to try to snipe this probe. And it looks like they do exactly that. The Zerglings are going to, um, of course... Run away and uh, 
see if they can fight another day. The Oracle is going to try to get a little bit of some uh, scouting information, maybe try to get a couple of kills here and there. But like I said, it looks like, guys, a relatively standard game and macro focus game it looks like what we're going to be getting here. Plus one's coming out of the Evolution Chamber here for our Zerg player as well as the Lair will be coming up very, very shortly. It looks like the Forge is going to be coming up as well as a Twilight Council. So it looks like Light is probably going to be getting some of his upgrades. And then, of course, with the Twilight Council, um, it looks like he's he's planning on playing a pretty uh, pretty standard game here, but also just really trying to macro up a massive force here. Sentries as well as Adepts and an Immortal is now joining the fight here for our Protoss player. Oracle is still trying to get some more and more information. Looks like a lot. Of, both of these players are getting, you know, are really trying to get as much uh, scouting information as possible, and just uh, playing, you know, and they're they're both really giving each other a lot of respect, which is which is very surprising. Looks like the charge upgrade is going to be um, coming up here uh, for our uh, Protoss player. So this should be this should be interesting. A lot, uh, you know, some of the upgrades are going to be coming up here for TLO. Both players are getting their upgrades around the exact same time. Looks like we have, of course, not only the uh, Overlord speed, but we also have the Roach speed, and then uh, plus one is going to be finishing up here very very shortly. Fourth base location is now up. The uh, perfect timing for the Observer does know exactly what is happening, and it looks like uh, there is an, a force here. That is starting to move, and I'm wondering why are all of these overlords moving over here? And it looks like they are going to be some dropper lords here, everyone. So it looks like our Zerg player is going to get aggressive here. First big move of the day here. I really like this decision quite a bit here. Looks like uh, all of these overlords or dropper lords are going to drop into what possibly is the main base or maybe the third base location more and more of these uh gateways are going to be coming up and so there are going to be some uh photon cannons as well but it looks like there's going to be two hits at once possibly but it looks like these overlords are going to try as hard as they can to come right over to the main base location fleet beacon's going to be coming up here but there is going to be a lot of aggression here and they're uh, essentially at this point the Protoss does not know that this is coming, everyone. Has no idea that this is coming. And all of these Dropper Lords are coming. And they are going to be dropping off into the main base location. There is absolutely nothing here, at least at this point. TLO is smelling blood. It looks like he's hitting from multiple locations here. And it looks like there is just a lot of Zerg at this point. And it looks like there are some Immortals here to join the fight. But all these Dropper Lords, they look like they are going to start moving over to the natural or the third base location here. And it looks like he smartly actually backs off. More and more Overlords are going to be coming over to the left-hand side of the map. So I'm not sure about the decision-making on that. I'm not sure exactly um, what the purpose was of that. But the Phoenix is going to start trying to chip away at some of these Dropper Lords. And the mass recall was called, and it was probably a very smart move on uh, on Light's p current positioning. So more and more of these, uh, more and more units are coming up here for our Zerg player. And it looks like more Dropper Lords. Wow, the drop play is huge right now, everyone. Absolutely huge. So... I'm wondering what this is going to trigger here. More and more Immortals are going to be coming out here for our uh, for our Zer or for our uh, Protoss player. It looks like the army of the Protoss is moving. They are absolutely moving 100% at this point right now, and it looks like more and more Zerg units. I wonder if this is an engagement that TLO really wants to take here, and it does not look like that is the case. These Dropper Lords are just hanging out over here by what is going to be the 4th base location of the Protoss player. It looks like it's been pretty back and forth here. 5th base is going to be taken here for TLO. TLO is trying as hard as he can to find, you know, some openings here. Looks like Lurkers are going to be coming out here. Um, and it looks like as well, um, 
we do have the mothership that's going to be coming out here as well as carriers so this should be very interesting to say the least guys what is going to happen here it looks like the zerg is going to push into the third base location it looks like the tempests are out as well but there's a huge push here by our zerg player i wonder if there's going to be enough here for the protoss these probes are absolutely getting demolished here by what is the zerg's army here which is going to be roaches as well as some hydralis more and more the lurkers are burrowing here and it looks like there's just so much zerg here and just like that tlo takes game number one against light and what was actually a very very well fought match between these two players i really liked how light was able had very good defense at least at first but just the sheer amount of experience as well as uh, power that tlo has experienced in previous matchups he is able to obtain the victory and i hope you you guys did enjoy this game between TLO and Light and if you guys did leave a thumbs up subscribe and you stay positive and as always I'll see you guys all in the next one peace